Last time on Total Drama Action! Just when the cast thought they were safe, I swung in to surprise, I mean, antagonize them. But the cast were forced to use their creative sides while showing off their backsides as they made superhero costumes out of spandex and some other junk. <laughs> nice tights! Of course, they were foiled by the diabolical Pythonicus, super evil alter ego of the villainous Shep. In a fight against evil, the cast proved they could be heroes. And also, losers! In the end, the most diabolical of them all was Duncan and Courtney, who conspired to have Harold boat off his luscious Lashana. Will Super Harold recover from betraying his homegirl? Will Duncan and Courtney ever hook up? Maybe you'll find out right now. Maybe you won't. On another totally dramatic episode of Total Drama Action! Mom and Dad, I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. I want to be famous. I want to live close to the sun. Or pack your bags, because I've already won. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. I'll get there one day. More seconds, biggest burrito wins. Think I'd make a good reality show host? Excuse me, I'm strategizing. Ooh. If you'd strategize, maybe you could manage something more articulate. Maybe you could blah, blah, blah. Time's up, co-competitors. Hey, Linz, what do you got? Look, Beth and I are BFF. Burrito friends forever. Did you belt your burrito? It's a custom friendship bracelet I made to join our two burritos for always and ever. Weird, disturbing, but big-ish. It qualifies. Geekwad, you managed to make yours any bigger? I give you the luscious Lashana. Aww, that is so sweet. Sweet? Check out the guns on these beans. Nothing. You feel nothing? Not a tingle. Not even an ingle. Man, this scratch snoz has destroyed my looks and my life. Why? Harold, your pathetic portrayal of puppy love makes me want to hurl. But you did make the biggest burrito, so you win. This isn't right. I demand a second neutral opinion. Please, I'm not coming anywhere near the infected. Who's infected? Is there a rash? I can't afford a rash. You all have reality show itis. A disease which causes people to turn everyday tasks into crazy challenges, thus losing focus on the real competition, which I refuse to do. When my good looks went, so did my winning edge. But Courtney's still managing to kick butt, and she's not nearly as good looking as I am. Okay, as I was. You know, you're the only one taking the game seriously. I just wish I knew how you did it all. It's so inspirational. Just being me, I'm glad to help. You could help more if you'd tell me your secrets. Like, how do you even get through life with all your deformities? My what? I don't have any deformities. So your answer is denial? OK. Hear ye and rise for Sir Chris. Sir, someone needs an ego check. Ooh, that's a glass slipper. Which means today's challenge is a fairy tale movie! My favorite! Beth, dude, if you ever steal my intro again, I'll have to personally boot you off the show. You can't boot Beth. Oh, wait, he can, because it's a glass boot. And the foot that fits determines the princess for today's fairy tale movie challenge. The rest of you compete for the honor of rescuing the fair princess. I want to be the princess! 
I said the fair princess. And what we think is fair is that the candidates be the ladies who won last time, Courtney and Lindsay. They're totally typecasting me as the ugly stepsister. But now that my braces are off, I'm absolutely princess material. Are you sure that's the right one? It's tiny, like a kid's boot. Ooh, ooh, I wear kid size four. What can I say? Princesses are supposed to have dainty feet. Huh, can I do this privately? It's just a foot. I think we've all seen those before. Get on with it, Lindsay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Look at boys. We found Bigfoot! Wow, he's <laughs> I hear glass shoes have a lot of stretch. Really? Um, no. I feel like I'm trying to jam a T-Rex into a smart car and make him buckle up. Well, if getting it on your big toe counted, you'd have won. <sighs> I am so going to take this. I don't know. Doesn't look like it's gonna fit. I hope that's safety, class. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Listen, Courtney, we can go to a different selection method if... No, I'm gonna... Oh, yes! Let's get this over with before she loses a foot and I lose another lawsuit. Chef? I dub the princess court. <laughs> Eat my pixie dust, commoners! Oh! I have become the beast instead of the beauty. A prince turned into a frog. Did Courtney do that on purpose? No, no, she's not evil. She's just feisty. I like feisty. I like it a lot. It's story time with Uncle Chris. Once upon a time, five brave knights went on a quest to rescue a princess from her ivory tower. But it wasn't going to be easy. First, the knights had to get past my very good friend, the terrible toothless troll and his bad breaks break. <clears throat> to get past the terrible toothless troll, the knights had to wear disguises. There was the frog prince and the ugly stepsister, Sleeping Beauty and one of her seven dwarfs and Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, can we at least make it Red Riding Hoodlum? No dice, dude. That's what it says in the script. Good work, kid. And so the ugly stepsister approached the terrible troll. But I can't see! Oh, yeah. For this challenge, each knight is blind. Oh. Are you kidding? Nowhere in this story does it say the cowardly knights complained. So get it together, Steppy, and get crashing. Could this be any suckier? Ow! Ow! Apparently it could be! Ow! Ow! Ooh. Oh, also? Those are Wicked Witch's apples, so they're poisonous and rotten. You might want to watch... No! Oh, ow! Oh. <laughs> See, Beth is just not fairy tale heroin material. Hey, how do you know if you have a concussion? Is seeing double a bad sign? Next, the eighth dwarf. He grabbed a fistful of courage and headed across the bridge. This is for you, Lashana! Yours truly has developed some mad blind running skills. What was that? They don't pay me enough of this. Hey, sleeping Bigfoot. Boats go under bridges, not over them. <laughs> My feet are not that bad! <laughs> awesome! You're up, Froggy. Then it's Captain Hood. At least my face will be protected from further indignity. <gasps> Ow, tough start. Go a little more to the right. No. Sorry, man. <laughs> Hey, man, let me give you a hand. Down! Down! <laughs> there I was, down, dirty, and deafened. And I thought, WWCD, what would Courtney do? And then it came to me. She'd use her head. Justin still got it. All right, then. 
The final knight attempting to enter fairy tale land is Little Red Riding Hoodlum. We're over this way. Seeing good. Seeing Chef as a transgender troll, priceless. Rapunzel, dude, let down your hair. <sighs> He can see! How? With his x-ray vision? That'd be cool. <laughs> and so the terrible toothless troll knocked off two losers. But three semi-brave knights made it to the other side and continued on their noble quest, whereupon I, in my wisdom, inspired them with a vision of Princess Courtney. dream of my first kiss it would come from my perfect prince and in my dream it went like this she's the most beautiful thing i have ever seen yeah i must have been so busy seeing her as a master strategist that i didn't see her outer beauty wow we'll be the best looking couple in the kingdom Pardon? I saw you cheat, Duncan. You don't deserve to be her prince. Who died and made you the decider about me and Courtney? Guys, guys, no need to fight. At least not until after this break. Will Duncan inflict more deformities on Justin? Or will Justin's rip physique bring two tons of hurt down on Duncan's head? Find out when we come back. My prince will be tall and handsome. My prince will be tough as nails. Oof. My prince will have lots of money. My prince will tame wild whales. Courtney is so lucky. She gets to wear that sparkly head thingy. If you smell burnt toast and everything looks like it's underwater, does that mean you have a concussion? When we kiss, my prince will be you. Warts! Ah! Get it off! Wasn't it that off. song brilliant? It was so brilliant, I know everyone wishes they could hear it over and over and over again. And now they can. Relive the magic of Courtney for only $12.99. Call 555 Sellout to get your authentic Princess Courtney CD before everyone else downloads it illegally. I'll take one. I'm gonna listen to this beautiful love song and think of Lashana. My prince will buy me lots of hot dogs. My prince will love ponies too. It's from Lashana, yo, Harold. If you play that skinny rich girl song and think about me, I'll have to kill you. After risking my life for you, I've realized how wrong I was with that deformity crack. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. And the smartest. What are the odds? Thank you, Sir Justin. <sighs> More like Sir Suckup. You know, you could learn something from Justin here. It's nice to get a compliment once in a while. Well, I'm waiting. Butter me up, princess. Look, it's the one horseman of the apocalypse. <gasps> Did you see that? She winked her horse eyes at me. I think you do have a concussion. Are we supposed to catch him? No, it's a classic princess abduction, as the villain makes a whirlwind getaway on a swift steed. Guess old Betsy here didn't read the script. Kick harder. <gasps> that did it. So, that's how the three night dudes lost the princess. But fate, a.k.a. me, wasn't finished with them. They followed the troll all the way to a fight to the death. Because that's how I like my princesses saved. Sir Justin, I want you to know that I hope you rescue me! Come on, I was just kidding about the compliment. You're cute, okay? I, I like your face. It's nice. I won't disappoint you, princess. As good luck, I give you my favor to carry into battle. <laughs> Falling for Courtney has been hard on the face. I think we'll have a no-shoes policy once we're dating. 
Sir Justin, Sir Duncan, and Sir Harold reached the ivory tower in which the troll had stuck the Type A princess. But there was only one way to rescue her. One of the brave knights had to slay the dragon. Ooh, I love a good dragon tail. I can't wait to see a real dragon. So scary. We don't have a real dragon. We're reusing the alien monster guy. Let the dragon slaying begin. Godspeed, brave knights. Sir Harold? Ha! Good luck, loser! Sir Justin. Mwah. Duncan. Mwah. Stealing another dude's air kiss? Pathetic. You're telling me. Yeah? You'll like it even better when I get the real thing. I'll save you, Courtney! <gasps> you princess stealing slime ball! <sighs> You want Duncan to win? You're kidding, right? Then help me take him down, and I'll let you win. I don't care. I just can't let him have Courtney. <laughs> Dork! Nerdling! Harold-type loser! Well, get them both chasing you! For a mathlete, it was elementary. Ye old alien dragon was six meters from Justin, and three meters from Duncan. They were running at approximately 12 kilometers an hour or 3.3 meters, which made it a matter of timing. And I've got mad crazy timing skills. My granny's got more guts than you. Man up and fight! Justin, okay, you're just gonna stop dead in three, two, one! Ah. Gnarly job, Sir Jay. Now, if we can just find this animatronic beast's center of operation, I'll claim my victory. Oof! Sorry, Harold. If Lashana were the prize, I'm sure you'd do the same thing. Courtney! Your prince is coming! Some prince? Wanna rescue Princess Courtney, too? Now you can for only $79.95. Order your very own Princess Courtney limited edition glass boot doll. Playing with the Princess Courtney doll is more fun and less dangerous than playing with the real Courtney. Guaranteed. Ugh, princess! Wait, wait, there's no kissing. What? Yes. It says here that Prince Justin and Princess Courtney must sword fight to determine the true winner. Whichever one of us wins the sword fight gets immunity? You're almost too smart to be a princess. But every fairy tale I've ever read ends with a kiss! Well, Beth, this is a modern tale. Gals have to fight for themselves. If that's how it has to be. No. I am a noble gentleman, a brave knight, a handsome prince. I would never hurt a lady. Although a guy who's working with you is apparently fair game. I said I was sorry, Harold. I refuse to raise a sword to Courtney. I give up any chance and immunity to spare her. And now? Sorry, Justin. I just can't let immunity go. You understand. I forgive you, princess! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, oh. I'm okay! Courtney wins immunity! Again! Yes! So, with immunity, Courtney is the first to win a golden crisp. I think she felt that. Cool! Get her elbow! Before we continue the awards, though, I have some news. Courtney's lawyers called and demanded 80% of all the profits from the Princess Courtney merchandise. So not gonna happen. So we're renaming them after the only other brunette left in the competition, Beth! <laughs> your very own Princess Beth doll. And a contract stating you get 0% of the Princess Beth profits, along with the Gilded Chris Award. You live another week. Yeah! Fairy tales do come true! Oh my gosh, take the pins out! Also still in the competition, 
Lindsay! Ah, Harold! Who will live happily ever after? And who will die penniless? And the last, Gilded Chris goes to... Justin! Duncan, you're out! What? Oh, this is an outrage! Justin should be going home! Yeah, you're right. I was just kidding. Justin's actually the one who's been eliminated! An outrage, huh? All I meant was that Justin deserved to go home. I worked really hard at getting him to fall for me. It's called strategy. My feelings had nothing to do with Duncan getting voted off. As if I care about that. I don't. Courtney? Beth? Lindsay? Princess Beth is so cute. Is no one even gonna miss me? Ciao. See you in the funny papers. Farewell. Alfita saying. Don't let the door hit you in the... Okay, stop already. I'm going, but you'll regret it. With me gone, this competition just got 80% less handsome. Oh, all right, 79. Marketing says our target audience is too old for dolls. They're just not selling. Princesses, attack! Hey, target audience. Make sure you don't miss the next kiss-filled episode of Total... Drama action! Now you see, Chef, that's how you play with dolls.